Take a moment right here Feeling like a sound gear Running, running Now that sums the chapter up. Thank you, David. OMG. Oh my gosh. Attack on Titan fans. Attack on Titan 113 drop. And this is the most one of the most epic chapters. If you had any doubt to think that Zeke is still afraid of Levi, check yourself. Cause Levi <laughs> did so much slashing there, bashing. This is one of the epic chapters. Oh my god, last chapter was epic. But this chapter is epic. Oh my god, Isayama is on a roll. Like I said, oh. Attack on Titan fans, ride the wave. Because this Attack on Titan series is getting its climax. And this is amazing, man. Did you see Levi? Oh, oh my god. Aside from Levi, Aaron is my most favorite character. Alright, so <clears throat> let's see Levi in action, you know. Don't get it twisted, alright. Levi still got it. Okay, don't get it twisted. I said, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. you know that? Oh, he was slashing and dashing. And then see Levi, you know, how to close his eyes and calm down. Like, you know, and see that his fellow comrades, you know, he got to attack. You know, throughout the series, he's been doing that. You know, his fellow comrades and people that, you know, he realized that now these people was Titans. And the Marlian people made my friends and other comrades Titans. So it's not, it's like nothing like this. It's, it's all the same. You know, I'm sorry. It's all the same because I've been killing my fellow comrades without me even knowing, you know, before the time skip. You know, so now that I know these are my comrades, it's almost the same thing. You know, I got to put that behind me. Right there, they're not my comrades at all after they get titanized. You know, they are our enemy of me. You know, to see, you know, Levi just calm down and start. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But sorry for the uproar, fans. Sorry for the uproar. But. Let's get into the beginning of this chapter. Okay, so we've seen Pixie and the other higher ups and the people below them, you know, react on that. Even Falco react on the yell that Zeke um, uh, did uh, last chapter, you know. So some people say they felt paralyzed. And I was like, dang, Zeke did it. The Jaeger fashion did it. Flotch. Yelena, they did it, you know. And um, just to see that, that made me think like, there's a little percentage of hope, you uh, know, for the people of, uh, in the walls. Because now that they drunk the fluid, you know, I'm thinking the people of Marty, the volunteer committee, you know, had this wine to serve them. Things it's, it's a higher uh, level of wine. Like, it's so expensive. It's etiquette, everything. It's, it's amazing. It's from our country. You know, we give this to you as a prize, you know, for taking us in. You know, so we gave you all our technology. We, t we told you most of the things that we do know. So, you know, here's a present from you, from us. So, the people of uh, <clears throat> Eldian, the Eldian people didn't think nothing of it. The people of the walls, they think nothing of it whatsoever. And kind of found out, it was the spinal fluid they was engulfing. And um, I'm pretty sure Levi said that first they'd be rigid. But I think the more you consume of the spinal fluid, the quicker, you know, the titanization will come. But... If you drink more and more of like they was, like they were just drinking, drinking, drinking. Like, you know, Levi was just questioning me like, uh, why are we drinking so much alcohol? The Marlian people embedded in the people in the wall saying that basically like, this is a rare wine to drink. This is a, an amazing song. You know, they didn't think nothing too of it. But we seen that the people of Eldian did not really trust them as much. But to think. That the reincarnation force main thing was the spinal fluid and it was serving to the people of Eldian. That's a whole big thing, fans. Oh my gosh, just this is this is crazy to know that Zeke can go inside the capital, inside the walls, and just yell out. And most other people in the higher become titans, like checkmate, checkmate. But we see that, you know, Levi got, you know, <laughs> Zeke by the wings, okay? Zeke just cut him up, slashing him up and everything. You know, Zeke is at Levi's mercy right now. I hope that Levi keeps Zeke from the capital 
because he see that his comrades, you know, he tightened eyes. So how far it got into the walls? You know, Z uh, Levi is a pretty smart person, so he would know that you can't bring him somewhere where there's a civilization where the whole community is, because they probably if it got to the the, the people, uh, uh, the, the recruit soldiers. The people that's inside the walls thinking this is a very fast, uh, um, fancy and rare wine, they would think that, well, I mean, a lot of people have been drinking this. You know, who don't want to live in the high life? You know, so let's think about that. I know Zeke thought about it for a minute. Like the small recruits even drinking this. So think about how many people have been drinking this. Okay, so Levi pretty smart. He knows not to t bring him inside the walls because it would be checked mate you know oh my god he got commander pixie oh my but he did not get hanged and i don't think some of her groups did not drink uh, the spinal fluid we've seen that now that's uh, amazing I'm, I'm glad that because i would hate to see hanged go oh my gosh oh my gosh amazing amazing shot amazing shot you know zeke is smart the jaeger fashion smart yelena smart flash i don't like hope he dies soon <laughs> <laughs> but to get back on track with the chapter, we see that, you know, Levi was running around trying to get away from the Titans, you know, because Zeke made the Titans more faster. I don't know. He boosted the Titans' uh, strength up and speed. I don't know. But that roar was amazing. So we see that Levi is just like trying to get a glimpse of everything, getting in his mind, like what was going on? How was uh, how this possible? How, how did this even come? Was this uh, Zeke playing all alone? So we see that, you know, Levi calmed down. And you know that Zeke was just selling now, or were you, are you ready to kill your comrades? Are you ready to destroy your stubbornness? All type of stuff. But Levi calmed down. Levi since the inner him and Levi went to work. He went to work. But the main thing we got out of this fans is that, you know, Zeke has his own purpose of doing things. We see that Zeke had a mission all this time, basically, I think, to save Paradise Island. Because Zeke said that the surrounding people of this world will soon gather around Paradise Island, quoted by Zeke himself. So this was Zeke plan all alone, maybe to save Paradise Island because he know he did wrong. Maybe because what he did when he was little to his father, but he had no choice because he we wanted to survive to do this at this time right here. Okay, so I kind of feel bad for Zeke, but if he would have did the, it the right way, you know, like, I don't know how can he just take it this level of what he did. Like, it's like one road, you know one lane he just want to do it his way and his way only and he could have did it a much smarter way fans what you, what you think about that he could have did a way as in you know got aaron on his side to let them know what's going on even the people didn't trust aaron because aaron was changing over the time skip but at the same time it's a whole different way you could have did this you know if you want to save paradise island it's a whole different kind of way to, to do this i was so confused to, to the point where i know you and the higher ups on marley z you know you could possibly did some more uh, uh, even better than what you think you're doing now because this wasn't the best way to, to to go about this this mission that you had instilled within you when you was a child, you know. So think about what you think about that for a second. You know, there's like three, four ways you could have did this, and you choose the most worst way, you know, for the outcome of your mission. I know Zeke doesn't have much time left. We already know that, fans. We know that Zeke see uh, the whole world going against Paradise Island. You know, uh, what was the effect? of making uh aaron come to uh marley what was the main purpose fans to make them fear the uh, aliens to make marley and think that aliens got power or because as we've seen that you know the marley people can you know come up with the lions throughout the world and defeat paradise island you know we've seen that the people of marley been conquering islands here and there and countries and taking them the people that they conquer as 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 comrades so we know some of the people hate Marlins, but it seems like the Marlins can get people on their side, but they also have a powerhouse army, okay? And I'm kind of believing um, Zeke when he says that he didn't really want to do that, but he was running out of time. He see it wasn't going nowhere at all because of Aaron's actions. Aaron did all this crazy stuff, you know, had the whole world in frenzy. So just think about if, you know, Aaron would never did that, you know, if Aaron would have stayed side and true to himself. You know, it's crazy how I think Yelena is influencing Aaron. Now, is Aaron stuck between Yelena and Zeke? 
it's, it's, it's crazy to think about, you know, who is making Aaron do all this crazy stuff? Just, uh, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm kind of confused because if Zeke's main purpose is to save Paradise Island and Elaine's main purpose is to destroy Paradise Island, I'm stuck in between the two. So from now on out, I'm going to look out for these chapters and see what's really going on. Is whose side is Aaron on? Who is Aaron going with? We know that Aaron was meeting with Yelena secretly, all right? But we do know, you know, Aaron came to uh, Marley to talk to Zeke, all right? So, uh, it's, it's kind of tricky, fans. It's, it's so tricky right now. All I know, Zeke playing with Aaron got to be somewhat amazing. The earth flatten weapon, it got to be something to it, it. Because this right here is too much. Just go this far. You know, to go this far just for one thing. Okay, this might save Paradise Island, but it might not. It, please have a plan B or C because this is just crazy. So, Zeke thinking he's going to run out the force, you know, <laughs> get into shelter, you know. Then you see Levi come again. <laughs> he just, oh my, that 3D maneuver gear. Like, the, the, oh my God. That that battle between Levi and Zeke, amazing. That's the best one-on-one -on -one thus far in Attack on Titan series. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Between the 3D maneuver gear and a person versus a Titan, okay? A Titan shifter, okay? That is the best battle thus far. Anything with Levi in is the best battle if you ask me. And when Zeke seen Levi's dramatic aura, he looking like, mm. you know, Zeke was like, oh, you know, Zeke, oh my, Zeke is afraid of Levi fans. You know he's afraid of him. You know, that whooping still got a little bruise on his butt. I'm not going to lie to you, that whooping from the previous time scale. Oh my God. You can see the fear in Zeke eyes when we had a tight eyes like why are you still like you know and leave out <laughs> like cutting up cutting up everything fans oh my god amazing i love i love the fighting scene isi yama you are a god no lie <laughs> like the, the manga god like the, the, the fighting scene with levi because cutting everything up wow 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 and then you know to, to see levi you know strategize on taking him down like through a branch out you know we're gonna think it's him bam you know come from the sky bam you know use a little strength thunder the thunder um rise to bam get, get him get a mountain and oh my god fans 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 levi just cried mm -mm. hey beard face <laughs> Kill him. Kill him. Oh, my God. That's amazing. I, I love seeing Levi in action. You know, Levi was like, hey, I'm going to kill you yet. You know, like, he's just dragging him along. Like, that is checkmate. Just how fast that was, man. The increments are amazing, man. The increments are amazing. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, we see how Mikasa is with Aaron. And we see how, you know, uh, Levi is with Aaron also. Like, this is uh, this is what Paradise Island got on its line. You know, like, this is what... Paradise Island got. So think about, you know, if we do have some people, you know, aligned with Paradise Island. We could take on the people on the outside where we need maneuver. Man, come on, man. You can't. I would not rule Paradise Island out if we have like 10, 12, 15, 20 anchormen on our side. Like, uh, uh, uh. So let's get back to Sheen Genshina, uh district. And we seen Shadis there, you know, trying to, you know, Get them people motivated, all right? Trying to get the people motivated into fighting. We see that the Jaeger faction got their claws through the whole rankings, all right? So now they believe in the Eldian Empire. They knew that. They they, they said that Aaron would lead the new Eldian Empire. So I'm thinking that, you know, there's no hope. The people are loving the Jaeger faction. They see that Aaron is the new king of everything, like I said before. This Jaeger faction got its claws everywhere. So we now we know that how far it got throughout the whole kingdom. Okay, throughout the whole walls, everybody is yelling out the Jaeger fashion. All right, so we see Flock them come in because Shaders weren't really doing it. They would have doubt, you know. Shaders is the same throughout the academy when, you know, Aaron would just learn how to do the 3D maneuver. Just an asshole, you know. <laughs> uh, a man amongst man, I would say, because, gosh, you see, he has not changed. Even at the time, so he has not changed. All right, I wish Aaron was like that, man. Have to change, but, uh. Like I said, we get Flotch in there, you know. So Flotch is uh been a traitor throughout. Uh I'm pretty sure he's working with the Yelena. I'm pretty sure about that. So we got Flotch, you know, uh coming through just through shade on Shadis so hard. And he was like, Well, hey, if y'all wanna join Yankee Fashion, you gotta beat Shadis up. You know, Shadis like name all y'all can stand a chance against me and they just pop beat him up. You know, he looked bloody, he looks dead. Shadis looks dead. But we see how influence, you know. Uh, 
Aaron has over these people. It's, it's bad. Look how many people was out there, you know, and all of them are with the Jaeger fashion. Everybody in there believe in Aaron Jaeger. And that's big. Uh, let's just say that everybody turned sides now. Everybody is on Aaron's side. The higher-ups really... Not with Aaron right now, but they have no choice. You can come in a picture and say we got to surrender to Aaron last chapter. But just to think that, and see how how, how, how how massive the Aaron um, faction is now. It's a whole army. Okay? It's a whole army. And it's true. Some of the people in the survey course or throughout the uh, the, uh, the kingdom and Paradise Island was like saying that it's been a long time since they attacked the Titans. I fought some Titans and used 3D Maneuver. Like, peace... It's, it, it's it's somewhat bad if you if you're not training your soldiers. Some other people have lost it. Some people are scared because they haven't they haven't been in war or been battle for like two years now after the time skip. So it's been peaceful. Uh, it, it seems like Aaron and Armin and in their group would just fight the Titans outside the wall. So the people inside the wall was losing all their fighting skills and. Losing the will to fight because of how peaceful it's it been throughout these years. So that's why they're so easy influence to see that um, Aaron's company is ruling with the Iron Fears. They really assassinated uh, Zachary Commander-in-Chief and killed him. Like, they haven't seen that within two years, somebody, like, doing something strong like that. So th that's why they're so easily influenced of, of Aaron, you know. So look what he did on uh, Marley. <laughs> You know, so the people are really looking up to him right now because this man doesn't fear nothing and he he will lead in the future. So that's why they're so influenced of Aaron. He, he's the only person that's doing something. We fast forward to Armin and then we see Aaron just hanging around chilling. And we did hear that, you know, Zeke saying, Aaron, are you at the place? Are you at, Do you remember the mean place? I'm pretty sure Aaron won't forget the mean place whatsoever. So we see Aaron right there just waiting and hesitating. Well, Aaron, you can wait all you want. Because Zeke is not showing up, okay? So, as soon as we see that, we do see that Levi is, like, looking at Zeke, like, oh, amazing. Oh, my God. I love how Ishiyama draw these panels. He looks amazing. So, we see that, you know, Levi cages up Zeke and got a rod right in his chest. Like, connected to a wire that if you make any crazy side of movie, he was split in two. Okay, so... We see that Levi just abusing him, just 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 chopping him up. Like this was your plan? This was your plan all along? Like like come on, man! Like what's what's all this? You know, snatching his legs up and you know, Z, uh, Z just yelling out, Ah, where's my glasses? Where's my <laughs> where's my glasses? But while Levi's slashing up Zeke, we see that we're gonna get a Zeke backstory. All right, so. I'm, put, I'm, I'm okay with this, but we see where Zeke gets his glasses from, Xavier, this guy that he was playing baseball with. So, you think that, you know, the people of Maryland got a baseball team? You say, maybe? <laughs> nah. But just to see Lil Zeke, you know, saying that he has a mission, uh, I think that he's been carrying this weight on his shoulders since he was a, a small, since he betrayed his father. Now, we're going to get a backstory on Zeke, and we're going to see how far Zeke came from his mission. Like, he had this installed in his mind that this is the mission he need from now on. This is what he need to do from now on as a child. And it's probably his, uh, someone that trained him, you know, trained him. This is probably who was previously the Beast Titan, maybe. So, we will see this hopefully next chapter. We will see hopefully his mentor, Xavier, you know, giving him some type of inspiration throughout his life. You know, trying to make him accomplish his mission throughout what he think is right. So, we can't really make Zeke to be this bad guy that he really is. Because he only knew one way to accomplish his mission thus far. So, without the help of the outside world, Zeke had to do things on his own. The will to survive as a child. The will to have a mission as a child. So, this is how far he would take it. And all he want to do is to see it come true. So let's think about his ambition and drive to see it. So this is why he's been doing all this crazy stuff. You know, titanizing everybody. Doing it the highway, way. You know, doing it Zeke way. Even though it's the bad way, he had something he knew. You know, so hopefully we'll see more on Xavier and more on his past. You know, we've we seen when he was a child, he, you know, told on his father and mother and stuff like that. That's to survive. The will to survive. So, you know, Zeke will is strong. Not stronger than Levi's, but but I ain't gonna lie, man. This is an amazing chapter. Oh my god, amazing chapter. Ten out of ten for the chapter. I love it. Attack on Titan and his prime is almost at its climax. So please stay with the wave. You know, stay with the wave because this is amazing series. Okay, 
Thank you for watching. Like my video, like my video. Comment, subscribe if you want to get more One Piece content of me and Attack on Titan. I'm also doing Barber Sword. I need to catch them on My Hero. Also, I'll be doing all of those, okay? Fans, 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 thank you for watching. Again, stay safe out there. See you in chapter 114. Monkey D, signing off.